obviously, like uh, like you said, we're going to host Cleveland State at 1 p.m. here at the Martin Stadium in the first round of the NCAA tournament. Um, the Michigan State soccer team is coming off uh, a Big Ten tournament championship win on Sunday, uh, where we defeated arch rival Michigan two to one in overtime. Um, and I thought we played extremely well in that in that tournament, and uh, that's what got us an automatic bid. We could have been a bubble team uh, had we lost or tied that game, but certainly we, we uh, sealed our fate by beating uh, Michigan and winning the tournament title and receiving the automatic bid. In Division One men's soccer, there's about 204 teams. Uh, only 48 teams are privileged to to come to the NCAA tournament. There's 22 automatic bids and 26 at-large bids. So, like I told my guys. Yesterday, you know, it's it's uh, they've certainly deserved it and earned it, um, but it's a privilege and it's not something that that's easy to do. So we're excited to uh, to host Cleveland State. They're a very good team, um, actually more talented uh, than I would say for most mid-major teams. Um, they haven't lost a game in nine straight games, or unbeaten, whether it's a win or a tie, and uh, so their coach Ali Kazamani is very good. And uh, so we'll have our work cut out for us come Thursday at the Martin Stadium. Any questions? Yeah, we've really started to come together. We've had some injuries early on in the season and just had to tinker with lineups all the time. We've played some freshmen early on who maybe didn't quite earn the starting role but needed to based on uh, injuries. And I think now they're starting to kind of understand things. Sean Connerty from Grand Rapids scored the game winning goal, Jay Chapman was very good. Zach Bennett, our goalkeeper, is a true freshman. So we've got those three guys that are starting to come in, and then we've got some good veterans, Kevin Cope, Ryan Keener, or the center backs, um, Fatai Alashe in the middle, and Adam Montague up top. So we've got a good backbone uh, in, in the lineup. And uh, the guys are just coming together at, at the right time. Um, it's a good group of guys. I've enjoyed working with them. I think sometimes when it doesn't come easy, uh, you appreciate that, and uh, we're certainly going. I think the other benefit that we have going into this this game and probably similar to Cleveland State though is we've been playing like it's an NCAA tournament for the last last weekend. I mean, we lose to Indiana on Wednesday, our season's over. You know, we lose to Penn State on Friday, our season's over. And maybe even if we lose to Michigan on Sunday. So um, we've already been in that mode, kind of win or go home. And uh, so I think that's been been good for us. Thank you. Thank you. You know, nothing really for me in coaching. You know, certainly I've been an assistant coach uh, for Coach Baum over the years, and I think when you're an assistant coach, it's just a little bit different. You know you're a part of something, but you're not the leader of that group. And so um, while I was really excited to see those things happen for Joe, um, it was neat to just see something come together for, for me personally as a leader. And then also, I've always wanted to carry on what Joe's done for the program. and you know, and how he's been able to win championships, and we want to continue that tradition. So I felt like, you know, we need, we, I needed to continue to do that. And so it, it, it felt great to, to honor him through that and, uh, and also to, to win a championship here. And you must have had a conversation with him that night. I did. I actually had a conversation with him that morning, and I used one of his quotes. I said, he said, what do you think? I said, well, Joe, I think it'll probably be a two-to-one soccer game. I just hope we have the two. And uh, Joe used to always tell me that before the games. And so all of a sudden he called me at 6 o'clock at night and he said, well, it was a 2-1 to one soccer game, Damon, and you had the two. So uh, I forgot about that up all the way through the day. But, yeah, so he's always been a good supporter of us over the last couple of years. Great. Well, thanks for having us, and uh, we look forward to seeing everyone at DeMartin Stadium at 1 o'clock on, on Thursday.